What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK, Trotter Brother, Dr. Blade, the Darkest Man, who round us today, guys. I will be talking about One Piece World Seeker, and we got some news regarding this game. So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken, get that Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because in UK, Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me just get with it. So, first of all, I've got to start off by saying One Piece World Seeker got two scans. I'm going to go through the first one, and then we're going to go to the second one, and we're going to go through that second scan that it got as well. So, I'm going to pop up the first scan on the screen so you guys can check that out. And I'm going to look through the article that Shonen Games put out about this scan. Link to that article will be in the description below, or I should just link Shonen Games because there's two different articles that will be there as well. But, anyways, the article had to say this. The latest issue of Weekly Shonen Jump shows more information regarding the up-and-coming anime game One Piece World Seeker. The double-page scan shows new screenshots for locations previously shown in other scans as well as trailers, as well as character artwork for Sabo, Smoker and Rob Lucci through just their heads. So um, that's pretty much it in terms of what they had to say about that. There's not really too much on it. You guys can see majority of the stuff are just stuff we've already seen. But it's just me going over that just to check if there's anything news. Pretty much me getting my first initial reaction to this because I haven't really checked out the news thoroughly. I just wanted to get my overall thoughts with it with you guys and see what you guys thought about that. But there's not really too much on it. But I decided to put that out there just to make sure I don't miss out on anything. Because you guys never know that when I check it or skim through it where before I record a video, there might be stuff that... I may miss out on when I'm actually in recording with the video. You guys get how it is in the YouTube streets. <laughs> but anyways, on to the next scan. Okay. So, the next scan is pretty much showing and I'll pop it up on the screen again or uh, I'll pop it up on the screen now, should I say? So you guys can check that out. It's showing um Luffy using Gomu Gomu no Elephant Gun, him moving around, showing off techniques. The visuals are looking clean and it's also showing um, Rob Lucci in game, Sabo in game, and Smoke in game. I feel like seeing Sabo on this game opens the door to seeing characters like Koala or even characters like Monkey D Dragon. Seeing Dragon on this game would be pretty dope. And I know he's a character a lot of people want to know more about. Maybe Oda can give us some little hints about him in this game. Who knows? Who knows what Oda's got planned for this story? But seeing Sabo in this game is going to be hype. And also potentially seeing someone like Koala who I feel will be in this game because. If you don't know, Tashigi is in the scan as well. If you can't see her, I will zoom in on her in the corner so you guys can check that out as well. So seeing Tashigi with Smoker, I feel like we could potentially see Sabo with um, with uh, Koala. That would be dope as well. And I feel like Sabo and Koala have this little team thing going on. So seeing um, Sabo and Koala would be dope. Obviously, we do know Sabo is going to be there, but we're not really too sure about Koala. But seeing Sabo is cool. And it'll also be cool to see Koala as well in um, the story of One Piece World Seeker. But I'm going to talk about Rob Lucci real quick before I dive into the rest of the scan. Seeing Rob Lucci is absolutely lit. He's a character that I'm a big fan of. I was more so leaning towards Del Flamingo because he has more, he, in my eyes, he had more history with um, the Celestial Dragons. But obviously, Rob Lucci is connected to the government through him being part of CP0. So seeing him is still a plus, he's still a bonus, I still like the fact that we're going to see him on the game and I wonder what his role is going to be in the story. Obviously I do feel like he's going to be a major enemy for Luffy on this game and I don't mind whipping his ass in the story mode, I don't mind giving, giving him another L against Luffy, like I don't mind doing that bro, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it at all. And also, I noticed that the outfit that Rob Lucci is wearing is the same outfit that he wore in Film Gold, which is pretty dope. I've noticed that they kind of ditched that old school outfit that he had, and he's going for that Film Gold look with that clean white freaking suit or whatever it's called. I can't really see it properly. It's a suit. I, I, it doesn't really matter at this point. I, I, I'm a suit blazer. It don't matter, bro. <laughs> but anyways, let me dive into the rest of the article that Shonen Games did. So, World Seeker takes place on an island where the Marines, Pirates, Revolutionaries, and Cypher poles are at odds with each other in, in a heated exchange. Lord, have mercy, bro. I, I'm every... Okay, okay, let me, let, me, let me start this from the beginning, bro, real quick. So, every time I hear stuff about the story mode, I get that mindset of 
show me a trailer show me a trailer show me a trailer <laughs> because I want to see more more stuff on this bro it sounded good but I want to see it I want to see how it's how it's gonna look on the game I want to see the cutscene I want to see how smooth everything is I just want to see it man I, we've only seen one thing and that one thing was nice it looked good but I want to see more you know what I'm saying I want to see more <laughs> but um let me continue in the new V job scam we see Luffy taking on Marines but we also see different areas of the island. More info will be available soon due to translations coming in. So check back. So they're pretty much saying that more information is going to come soon. And this scan hasn't been translated. Obviously, I don't really think there's going to be anything major. But if there's anything major, I will make a follow-up video. Give my overall thoughts on this. I just wanted to talk about One Piece World Seeker and see what you guys thought about this. Um... Rob Lucci being playable, uh, not play. Okay, he's not playable, but him being on the game and seeing Sabo as well, and even seeing Tashigi on the game as well. I want to know what you guys think about that. Leave it down in the comment section below. This has been the UK Trucker Brother Doctor, the darkest man around, and it is time for you guys to put down that fried chicken and the Kool Aid and wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, really enjoy this video. And yeah, I'll catch you next week, guys. And make sure you like the video, support, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Because it helps this channel out a lot, and it helps me go up and up and up. Yo, and we're going up. I'm not going down. Anyway, <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Bye.